What's up guys? I'm on the Grom again. I just made a video on uh, on going in the Alien Gorge with the Honda Grom. Bikes rumbling along. Here it is. So you can get a visual on this beauty. I just installed the fender eliminator so I feel like the bike looks like 20% smaller than before that thing was like ridiculous and going down here almost but um here I am I just went south on the Ilian Gorge and this is my second video I'm making on it so I'm gonna be going north this time and uh yeah not much more to say on that all right off we go <laughs> that kid's like, what the heck are you doing, mister? Ah, oh, just hit a B with my chest. But yeah, already up to 43 miles per hour, 45. A lot of other motorcyclists that have bikes other than a Grom, they seem to think that uh, the Honda Grom is like a slow bike in all conditions, but that's just not the case. This bike is not slow at all from like zero to 40. From like zero to 40, it'll keep up, you know, with if you're in a group or anything. But if you go like faster than 45, that's when it like doesn't accelerate as fast. But But from like 0 to 45 it does fine like I don't think it's slow man I think now that I'm going north on the alien gorge I think like there's a few more downhills just picked up some good speed there there's the creek uh, tearing it up I gotta layer up some more. It's August 20th here in uh, Utica. Well, this is Illion, New York, but upstate New York. And it's freaking cold. Like, just two weeks ago, there was a significant difference in temperature, I feel like. I don't think it was near as cold like this. I think right now it's like 63 degrees or something but riding on the Grom right now it feels like it's 45 degrees and these trees are tall here if you're in the Utica New York area I highly recommend this road for cruising with a motorcycle it uh, it's got some nice turns the Frankfurt Gorge is good too but those turns are a little tight if you have a bigger motorcycle it uh, it wouldn't be ideal but these uh, Got a few tight turns as well. But the Frankfurt Gorge definitely has some tighter turns. Oh I might be getting a Yamaha FZ09 soon. So if I do get that video definitely coming with me on that on here on this road oh man it is cold I tell you 
7,000 RPM roaring down this road. Another thing people don't realize about the Honda Gram, the wheels are only 12 inches. So when you're doing like 30 miles per hour, it genuinely feels like you're doing 50 on a regular motorcycle. Cause like the, the wheels are so small and like they get kind of twitchy sometimes. Like right now this is like a grooved pavement and the wheels, real, the tires really like the grooves are deep for these tires and when I'm going I'm going 54 right now 55 and it feels like a good 80 80 miles per hour on a on a bigger bike like a Kawasaki Ninja 650 We got a vehicle out there turning around or no look like they were in the middle of the road but angles uh, my nose is running a little bit from the cold Definitely got to start laying, layering up somewhere when I uh, go on motorcycle rides this year. Got to slow down a little bit. Tight turns coming up. I've been riding this Grom for about two weeks now. And uh, like... I haven't really ridden a bigger bike since and I can just imagine like when I ride like a bigger bike the next time it's gonna feel like a, a rocket ship pretty much any other motorcycle especially if I get that FZ09 this one is uh, it's yellow and it's got a Akropovich exhaust and it's got a few other add-ons and um, I'm definitely looking forward to buying it I want the clout on YouTube I want viewers you know so giving the viewers what they want the bike is uh, black and yellow mainly yellow but uh, those FZ09s and the MT09s they're absolute wheelie machines so that should be a blast to have another thing I like about the FZ09 is uh, they kind of have the shape of the Grom they have like a how would I say like the same uh, the same style except much bigger obviously Pretty much like twice the size and ten times the power. Maybe more. Like fifteen times the power of a Honda Grum. Pretty much out of the out of the gorge. <laughs> I almost said out of the grom, but uh, gonna end the video here somewhere, and I'm gonna park in this uh, sunny area so I can warm up a little bit. Riding on the grom definitely uh, 
how would I say, definitely got me cold. But I'm uh, gonna do a little walk around again of the bike. It's just, uh, oh, my visor just came off. Man. But uh, doing a little walk around of the bike. Just gonna show you guys how it's looking. Just ticking along. Ticking like a clock. I love this headlight. Got that nice bluish white light. Ticka, 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 ticka. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I may plan on making tons of videos with the Grom, so also more motorcycles included here and there. Alright guys, thank you and have a good day.